Hi everyone, this is Marianne from Revealing Light, uh, Tarot Astrology and Spirituality. I'm going to do tarot scopes for this month. I've run out of time, so I'm grouping fire signs together, water signs, air, air signs obviously, and earth signs uh, according to the elements. But I will do each sign within uh, within that uh, and it'll save me a little bit of time on uploading, etc. I'm going to be using, I'm going to start with fire signs. I'm going to be using my Revealing Light Oracle, which is my own deck. And then I'll move to the Toth Tarot. Alistair Crowell is Toth Tarot. Actually, uh, it is, um, I just want to mention the illustrator uh of the deck uh lady frida harris okay so it's this deck okay so let's get started i'm going to start with aries cardinal so there'll be aries leo and sagittarius within this video and i'll time stamp them as well i have my pen and paper here but let's get started with aries please uh for the month of june aries in june what what's likely to be coming up for you just an overarching energy for aries in june please so we have here uh willpower right use of will leads to prosperity equally stubbornness stops progress this is your honest energy is there anything that you're resisting that you know that you maybe you shouldn't um, and clarifying that is meditate. So the advice here or the counsel here, observe your thoughts and let the negative flow away and feel your energetic vibration rise. Some areas may be, um, they're a cardinal sign, as I said, they're, you know, they're going to lead. But sometimes, um, the, you know, everyone loses their pathway or their focus. Um Sometimes they don't want to lead. Sometimes they don't want to be in charge. Sometimes they just need to flow. And so there is a message here for some areas, maybe not all of you, that if you're feeling like you're fighting yourself and you want to move into a more gentle energy, uh, given that you're cardinal fire, you want to move into that flow, then uh, think about what you're resisting. And maybe uh, meditate on that and try and find another way. A good old friend of mine who's no longer with us taught, said to me very early on uh, that if you see a force coming at you, just say it's a punch, uh, that for want of a better expression, or uh, a piece of wood or something flying through the air at you, all you need to do is that, okay? And it'll go right, right uh, it'll flow away from you. But if you stand still and, f you know, want to punch back or fight back or whatever, uh, then you're going to be in, uh, you're going to be in that fight. All you need to do is that and let it go. Let it go by you. All right, Aries, let's see what we have here for you. Uh, as the general energy or events this is for your all these videos for your rising sign if Aries is your rising sign uh, or your ascendant sorry sun sign ascendant or moon um, they are general readings uh, and with all my readings I would suggest you use your own intuition they may not apply to everyone either so come back and look at it again if it's not resonating Aries what's coming up what is it that what are the key things for Aries to know please in June 2022 so we have the signifier card steady and slow progress some of you might be looking at budgeting for the next financial year uh, and uh, this is around also your security, your inner security. Sometimes slowing things down, Aries, is good. It's good, good counsel for you. Aim for the long term, not not a quick, a quick thing. You need to slow it right down. Slow it right down. And we have the Eight of Swords, uh, which is interference. Who's interfering in our mental peace of mind? It's ourselves. Or we're allowing others to. So there is a real message for Aries this month around just slowing it down um, and uh, 
not putting yourselves in into those mental prisms meditate was one of those cards the star card whatever you're worried about uh, it's going to be okay allow the light to come in allow hope to come in in the past we have worry there's just a lot of worry around some areas and you need to understand that it's going to be okay in the sky we have mental clarity with the ace of swords um so you have the truth you have the mental clarity you know what you need to do um switch off the worry switch off the um what ifs and just focus on the here and now the outcome is a new start so you're moving always Aries toward that newness toward that new beginning uh, and in this reading I think for some Aries this is around moving away from mental worry from uh, continually either going over things all the time and, and 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 breaking out of those old habits because I think it is a habit uh, we have the three of cups the underlying energy friendships relationships will bring you that abundance of emotion and we have the prince of this which is the page of Pentacles you will be moving forward don't aim to run a sprint aim to run a marathon and in this sense the marathon that you're running is away from worry and your own fears and toward optimism and newness breaking out of old habits okay Aries let's see what's coming up for Leo and let me put a time stamp here 651 Leo let's see Leo what's happening for you Leo Leo for the month of June Leo Leo of course is a fixed sign meaning they're very determined they don't give up easily Aries might uh, find and start the fire Leo will keep the fire burning and Sagittarius often will go with the flow and find a new destination for everybody Leo what's happening for Leo in June Leo June what's happening for Leo in June we have here the way shower yes you are the keeper and teller of your truth I've been feeling for quite some time that Leos are coming into their own some Leos that maybe have been through a pretty hard period uh, are somehow understanding are gaining confidence um, and understanding that they can they can get what they want that they don't need to be subjugated to others in any way they're understanding that they are the teller of their truth and therefore their own way shower they don't need anyone to show the way for them hold your ground Leo this is your energy here I'm glad I I pulled this card sometimes you've just got to own it and I think what are you owning Leo you're owning who you are you're owning who you are in June base of the pack is journey this is a big big step for you uh, the greatest journey in life begins with one step so you're coming for some Leos you're coming into your own in some way uh, and well you should well you should okay let's draw some uh, some general cards for you uh, in a cut down Celtic cross I'm uh, using the Toth Tarot I previously used the Revealing Light Oracle and let's see what's happening for Leo what are the most salient uh, things sometimes you only need to hear a couple of sentences Leo to for uh, something to be momentous and of impact so what does Leo need to hear uh, what's coming up for Leo what do they need to hear for June 2022 okay so we have here the high priestess something so some kind of plan that may have been in your subconscious that you may not have been aware of is going to make its way to the surface to your conscious mind so you can act on it this is about also secrets being revealed or something that you may have uh, intuitively known is going to be revealed to you for other Leos you are you're a bit psychic and maybe it's time to understand and hone in 
to that psychic intuitive part of yourself futility the seven of swords um if you feel somebody is uh deceiving you or is deceptive or maybe you're just looking around at this world and understanding finally who is we have a, a saying in australia called fair dinkum meaning what you see is what you get who is fair dinkum and who is not maybe you're for the first time in a long time or the first time ever using your intuition and understanding yes yeah, something's changed i feel for some leos they are using their intuition now whereas before they they weren't they were skimming along the surface change two of pentacles yeah you are contemplating some sort of change or some leos are contemplating some sort of change two of pentacles it talks about decision time it's about shedding old skins as well in this deck and uh, coming uh, into a change coming into yourself in the past we have the four of pentacles now the four of pentacles in the traditional tarot talks about you know this insecurity walling yourself off in some way uh, not feeling uh, free enough to express yourself but when you, you get this mastered this then becomes a fortress of power for you uh, and within it you have your own dominion so in a way four of uh, pentacles four of pentacles when they find that when they unlock that inner knowledge about themselves they they have then their own dominion their own power i feel this is the process for you and you're getting the ace of wands in the sky what's crowning this reading there has been and will be many many new starts for you it, this is what this time is all about new starts new confidence new passion new motivation to move yourself forward and we have the eight of pentacles there is a work matter here this is about uh, an apprenticeship this is about um, being good at something again when we start to unlock our confidence and our self-esteem we understand where our strengths lie there is work hard work here indicated and the ten of cups uh, talks about love being fully fully satisfied uh, i think this is the change for you some leos have found happiness perhaps in romance or in other relationships and they're feeling pretty good about themselves and it's unlocking a lot of new horizons for you the three of wands virtue you've done the work you've done the you've put the hard yards in and you're about to reap rewards leo and the reward is your strength because in the tarot that's your card okay let's look to sagittarius sagittarius 13 oh eight all right let's give the cards a good shuffle sagittarius in june now this is again it is for your fire sign rising sign or moon in sag please you're welcome to tune in just putting all the signs together save a little bit of time get them out in a timely fashion this month i've been busy i've been busy this month well, I'm always busy, but I must have been a little bit busier this month. I guess uh, throw in recovery from COVID there as well. <laughs> okay, so we'll pull from the Revealing Light Oracle. Also, you know, I want to say too, these are general readings, but, you know, look at your, right, like, look at your sun signs, but look at your rising and your moon to get a complete picture for the month as well okay so let's uh let's have a look here oh, too many cards falling out so we want sagittarius in june sagittarius in june it's coming up for sagittarius in june and messages that those that are watching need to hear sagittarius in june willpower again <laughs> look at what you're resisting what you're clinging on to um and what uh what's holding you back um what is the new that you need to bring in sometimes we're our own worst enemy uh and foundations if something is out of balance go back to the start this is a virgo uh, energy and start again 
Okay, so something here that you, do you need. This is fairly significant. It's foundational work for Sagittarius's who are feeling out of balance. Yeah, you've got your card on the bottom here. Uh, this is about leaving behind, I won't say bad habits. They're just habits, aren't they? Old habits and bringing forward something new. One more for Sagittarius. Finding the spark of divinity in ourselves and others. Maybe Pluto energy. This is taking this deep dive down to your essential uh, core truths here. The the truths that you live by, Sagittarius. Um, you've been holding yourself back in a way um, for all sorts of reasons. Um you know, and this is not skipping through the tulips time. Uh, this is about making those decisions about where and how you want to spend your energy. Okay, uh, I think this for some it's around maybe looking at where you, where you, uh, it's like a cost benefit analysis where you get your benefits and where you don't and then acting on those. Um, because if you're feeling a little bit drained, a little bit, this is hard, too, bit too, too much like hard work, you need to bring in something new. You need to do something differently. Time for change, Sagittarius. Very similar message to Aries uh, for you, Sagittarius. Okay, now specifically, I want to pull a Celtic cross for Sagittarius. Sun rising and moon. What's coming up for Sagittarius, please, in June? Sagittarius, June. Well, I know some of you are going to say, oh, I like the way you did it before. I didn't have time to do it this way this month. And therefore, I'm doing something new in order to give you something. We'll go back to the way I did it if I've got time next month. Now, we have Six of Wands, Victory. Victory and Achievement. Uh, there's some victory that you're going to be experiencing in June. Uh, and we've got the full card, new starts. Wow. Wow. Big, big energies here for you, Sagittarius. Something new is coming to you in June. And I don't say that lightly. I'm just reading two, two really uh, strong cards here around victory and new starts. We have here the moon. It could come at the time of the full moon in June. Something around the moon. We've got new moon in Gemini. Uh, thoughts also clarity new clarity coming through the moon here is about things uh, well it's about emotions and it's about soul it's about your soul journey so I think there are you know Jupiter here in uh, in um, in Aries there's something around action for you and doing new things I mean that's the thing with uh, Sag a rolling stone gathers no moss is very apt for you. You like to keep moving. You like the new. But the foundation of this is to get back in touch with your essence, the essence of who you are, your soul. You don't answer to anyone. You only answer to yourself, Sagittarius. In the past, we have too much work. Prudence, eight of pentacles. So, you know... It, those Sagittarians, it's about focusing in on what delivers the most gain for you, not for anyone else, for you. Uh, and we've got the Death card bringing something to an ending here. So you have the full, what's crowning this is endings. Um, cutting away the old, old habits that are no longer serving you and starting anew. Uh, and we've got the Eight of Cups uh, in the near future. Indolence. So there is a, in this card, in this deck, it's pretty heavy. This is about, though, in tarot, <laughs> walking away from what no longer serves you. Um, and I was spot on when I was talking about what's wasting your time, Sagittarius. You need to uh, really not indulge in things that aren't serving you well. Now, that can be habits, breaking out of old habits, it can be breaking out of old ideas. It can be breaking out of old ways of doing things. Um, and Seven of Pentacles. So, again, what is no longer serving you? Very strong messages here. You need to break out uh, to have that new start. You will be victorious. Princess of Wands, here's your fire energy. Uh, moving forward, uh, out of oppression and toward the Nine of Pentacles gain. Something is inevitable. This is the judgment card. 
about a gain and a victory and a new start for you in June. I just want to leave that message there for you, Sagittarius. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Fire signs. I'll be back next month with um, more taroscopes. Thank you. <music>